So you just have to provide the obscuring character and it will show you in place of your input data. What's up everybody? Welcome back to channel Codex. In today's video, we're gonna talk about text field. Almost every application needs to take user input and most of the time it is in the form of text value. So you want to make sure that user inputs right uh, email username password phone number whatever it is it has to be correct information right so we're gonna take deep dive inside text widget like text field widget and see how we can validate how we can put a lot of different visual effects inside text field and we're gonna do all this in today's video so make sure to watch full video and we're gonna start right after this promo willing to create an awesome prototype in less time introducing mock it for designers developers and everyone else. You can create a stunning look prototype with all the pre-built components and it works on all the platforms including web. Check out mockit.wondershare.com for more. When you add text fill material widget inside your application, by default, you get this view, which has the underlying material effect. And if you don't want that underline, you can easily customize with help of decoration. You just have to provide the border of type none. That's it. And if you want to customize all the borders, you want a rounded corner, you can do all that in the decoration with border radius property. Now there are ton of features packed inside the decoration. You can assign a prefix icon, you can assign suffix icon, you can assign prefix text, suffix text, and you can stylize each one individually. For example, you are accepting the user's phone number. So you can provide country code by default so they get the idea that they don't have to write it manually. It's already there. Like that, you can use suffix also if you have some data which is going to be appended at the end by default. So user knows what he has to enter talking about the prefix icon and suffix icon this is basically a widget so you can play anything around there you can put just a simple icon you can put uh, animation or video or whatever you want to guide the user for their input field let's talk about the hint to get the user input first we have to provide with the hint data like what user should be entering here and you can customize the font the styling everything separately for your hint text and your main text what if I'm entering some confidential data? Of course, there's a property for that. You have to just set obscure text to true and your input fill is now hidden. Interesting part over here, it's not just limited to the dot or a star. You can customize that character as well. So you just have to provide the obscuring character and it will show you in place of your input data. How cool is that, right? Let's talk about some of the basic properties like max length and max lines. So if you provide max length, it is going to show you the counter at the bottom. You can of course control that. If you don't want that counter, you can go to decoration and just say counter text to blank string. And of course the max line property, if you have a multi-line text, you can define that as well. And it's really simple with just few lines of code. Let's move ahead and add some more properties to our text fill. So what if I show the proper keyboard to the user instead of showing just normal uh, alphanumeric keyboard? What if if the user is entering phone number, I show the proper keyboard of phone number. If a uh, user is entering email address, I should show keyboard which has at the rate and convenience for the user. Like it just eliminates all those wrong data and user knows what type of input it is expecting so for that text field has a property called keyboard type you can specify one of these property where you want to accept the phone where you want to accept the email or whatever type of input you want to accept from the user and if that is not sufficient for you you can even specify the input format so for example if you're only accepting a digits not the decimal value say for example phone number you don't want to user to add the decimal or hyphen or all those characters you can provide input formatter to digits only and it's going to allow only digits in that text field not only that you can even define your custom input formatter where you can allow the character which you want or you can deny the character which you don't want user to type inside the text field after all of these awesome properties if you are still thinking that you need to provide the validation engine yourself you can do that easily Strap your text field inside the form widget and then change from text field to text form field 
That's all you need to do to provide your own validation and when you submit the form, it's going to validate all the properties and it will show the proper error message on the screen if it doesn't matches with your validation. You can even customize how the error text is going to look like, the font size, the color, everything is customizable. You just go ahead and explore the decoration property. There you will find a lot of customization options where you can even customize how the cursor is going to look like, what will be the width of the cursor, the color, the rounded corner, everything on the screen is customizable because this is Flutter and it paints everything on the canvas. Now last but not the least, if you're thinking how to get the data from the text field, it's very easy. You just have to provide a controller called text editing controller and it will give you all the listeners, all the change data, new data, old data, everything is going to be available when you want it any place inside your application. So it's that simple. Hope this short video was helpful. If you're new to Flutter, make sure to subscribe the channel to get more of such video. And if you're already an expert, recommend this video to your colleagues, to your friends, who are learning flutter it's kind of a basic video where in short i explain all the properties all the features available inside flutter widget because it's all about widget right so make sure to hit the subscribe button like the video and share with your friends who are learning flutter and help them grow thank you so much for watching i will see you guys in the next one